What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video and it's me. They call me Heat and I'm a music producer of over 10 plus years and on this channel right here I help producers create the best boom bap beats. So today it's really about cooking up a, a boom bap bass line from scratch. From scratch, right? I, I made a video a while back where I showed you a beat that I made and then like I showed you how I made the bass line for the beat. But I think what I want to do is I, I want to make a beat and of course focus more so on the bass line than anything because that's really what the focus is today, right? That's what the video is about, creating a boom that bass line, right? So yeah, so we're going to focus on that. I'm going to find a sample, find some drums to chop up. You know, if you haven't watched my videos before, I like to start from scratch all the time. I never really have something in mind. I just go from scratch and then cook up and whatever comes out, it's probably going to be some fire it's gonna be whack we don't know so yeah if this is your first time watching please make sure you subscribe uh, turn on all notifications as well just so you don't miss any more of the videos and yeah let's go ahead and get into it and find a sample to chop up find some hard heavy hitting drums or a drum loop and lay it smooth or crazy bass line down all right so yeah let's get into it let's go like between that beginning section and like <clears throat> that spot where like the vocals start coming in I think that's what I'm gonna try to use one of those those two areas let me just see what I can do So the chop timing is a little off. I could put it in Serato sample and just hit each key like that. So I got a kick there. I like that mean, mean kick. Usually I would just lay it down, but I, it's in my head and I have it and I wanna keep the, the pattern flowing. So I like to click them in sometimes and just try to get it out that way. I like that snare. I got a good snare here. So I'm going to use this snare. I'm going to drop that in there real quick. took a weird spot in it. I didn't even take the like a normal place, but it just fits. It works. I don't know. It, that's dope. I'm gonna take it off time and see what it does. Put some EQ on it too. Now I need to open hat. I have, I have, I'm telling y'all, 
this drum pattern is, is, is I'm, watch, man, this is crazy. I like when they just come together like this. I had to pitch the, the open hat down to just kind of match the tone of everything, you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes, you know, everybody wants to be perfect and notes need to be in the right key. And sometimes when things aren't tuned properly and they're not, you know, where they're supposed to be, sometimes they just sound good where they're at. So if it sounds good, but it's not right, it's okay. There's no rules to making music. One more thing that I want to add in is like a time at the end of the, like the turnaround. Now, I don't think you can get it any more gritty than adding the gritty in there, right? So, of course, you know, we're working with digital products, working with digital DAW, so we don't have the vinyl crackliness. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get the crackliness <laughs> to match with the drums so that it fits in there and it sounds like it's all together. So I had to do it. I had to go to a uh, Serato sample in order to chop it up the way that I wanted to chop it. Because, you know, Fruity Slicer doesn't allow you to chop it by key. So I went in Serato sample and chopped it up by each key with the keyboard without having to do it manually. So I got the sample on beat. So now I'm going to see what, it, like, what type of chops or what, you know, what type of feel we can get over the drums. But I'm not going to mess with the, with, the, with the pitch and stuff, too. <laughs> I like those chops right there. I like where it's going so far. So I'm just gonna lay this pattern down so we can start messing with the bass line and figuring out what to do with the bass. may even have to fix some chops in Serato sample because I feel like some of them are even a little off when it comes to uh, going to the next chop. So I'm gonna check Serato sample. I know that there are some off, but I wanna see which one it is. Now this is the part that everyone's really been waiting for right here is the bass line. These type of beats, you really don't need to put a lot into the track at all. But now is the bass line, and I, I hear it in my head and it's gonna be really simple. Ba-boom, boom, mm, ba-boom, you know, just something simple like that. So it, it's, gonna, it's gonna be dope though, it's gonna be dope. But I'm gonna use my trusty Sakura. Now with the bass, I always put guitar rig on it because guitar rig gives it that extra monstrous feel, you know what I'm saying, or sound. Um, without guitar rig, it would be it would sound just like this. And when I put guitar rig on it, you know, get your ears ready. It just adds a little, like I said, monstrous sound feel to it. 
So I turn my bass down. And now there's other effects that I'll add to it as well to get it to sound how I need it to sound. So like I'll put like uh, the R bass on there. Now with R bass here, um, it does just, it brings out more harmonics you don't necessarily have to add it. You do, this is just my chain. This is what I do. This is what I like to do. Adding more harmonics to it. I use the big bottom free, uh, preset. I turn it down uh, about six, seven. I turn the intensity down to start it at about two, around around two, and then start tweaking from there to figure out if I want it to be a little bit more intense than what it is. that's all you're doing is you're intensifying that certain frequency with this plugin and you can get this at waves.com it's just a r bass plugin it's called r bass of course it's not free but this is a plugin that i use on my bases all the time all right so now now that i have that on there i have those effects there now i can kind of figure out and just kind of play around uh, with the bass a little bit and see what type of pattern i want to go with now and the best practice is finding the note you know like the root note of the sample so that's what I'm gonna play around to do to find first. Find the root note first. Once you find the root note, you can play any chord in that, you know, in that, in that, in that, or any key within that chord, right? So you get the get the pretty much get the picture. I found the, all the notes that are within that key or chord, and then I've now I can play pretty much anything within that. So I'll leave the piano roll up just so that you can kind of see what I'm doing, and you can see on the keys where it's at. Love it. I'm satisfied with it. Like I don't even feel like I need to go back and do anything different. But let's just see how it sounds with the drums and everything else mixed all together now. Need some hi hats now. this now I want to just add just a little like tambourine under the snare just to give it a little extra flavor So now what I've done is just on the last, like the turnaround now, I'll add just a little extra flavor to it now. So I put like a, a drum break in there from the Slap Experts, uh, the Tom Foolery drum loop pack. And I put this in here and it sounds like this, like just on the last turnaround, it sounds like this now. Mm -hmm. 
Just to, you know, that, that just kind of takes it to another level as far as like the change up going it's like a verse or something you know just add, add, added an extra little flair that's really all i wanted to do um this beat is very simple so i didn't really do need to go crazy or anything like that on it um, but i did want to point out though like i said the bass line you know i really just found the root note that's really all i do is find the root note then once i find the root note i pretty much know all of the notes within that chord so sometimes it won't always be that way and you have to just kind of go through each individual note and find it and once you see, okay, these are all the keys or the different points in the sample, like this. And that's how I was able to find it because all of those notes are there. And now I can add different variations of other keys or other notes that match everything together. And I can throw that into the next so I can do stuff like... Stuff like that. That's how I'm able to do that. I learned that from Pete Rock. Do some research, look it up. You know what I mean? Because that's where you're gonna learn. Study, 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 study. All right, that's the end of the video, you guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope that I inspired you all to go create that boom bap. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well. If you want the files from this beat to be able to fo follow along with what I did and what I'm doing, be sure to become a member of the Patreon. Um, hit the link right below in the description. Also, join me on Discord. A uh, community of over 300 plus producers all learning and talking that boom, bap, weekly sample flips. You know, you can uh, there's a sound exchange section so we can exchange sounds with other music producers just like you. All right, I'm about to hear it's me. They call me Heat. 